What's up, everybody? I'm the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and yes, I know that my first video left out quite a few smaller but no less important Goju Ryu organizations, mostly because they either had very little English language content, or because their lineage split off from one of the other branches that I mentioned. One of the reasons why my History of Goju Ryu series has so many entries is that Miyagi Chojun Sensei had many different students, each of whom went on to found their own organizations, and many of whom conflicted as to who was the true successor of their teacher. When Miyagi-sensei passed away, he had left no official successor, not even entrusting his style to his children, as teachers like Funakoshi Gichin were able to do. Why was he unable to choose a student to carry on his lineage? Well, it may have been due to the fact that he passed away rather suddenly, without having the time to determine which of his students, some of whom had been training under him for several decades, were able to carry the torch. However, the most common supposition that I've heard for why Miyagi didn't have an official successor was that he had chosen a student, but that student had passed away before he had. That student was named Shinzato Jinan, and in this episode of the History of Goju Ryu, I'm going to look at his position in Miyagi's life, his untimely death, and whether he really would have been the successor to Goju Ryu had he survived the Battle of Okinawa. Let's get into it. Shinzato Jinan was born in Kumemura, Naha, Okinawa in 1901. He, like many karate students and masters of this period, was a sickly and weak child, or at least so goes the story told about him. However, his karate training aided him in becoming a strong and healthy youth and eventually adult. He began his Goju Ryu training at the age of 23, or 21 according to one source, and eventually entered the police force, which was a common career path for karateka, where he also trained in judo. Given that Miyagi was also involved in training the Naha police force in karate, and developed a friendship with the founder of judo, Kano Jigoro, it's likely that Shinzato's career was closely tied with that of his teacher, and that he was as involved as Miyagi himself in studying and expanding the style. Shinzato also accompanied Miyagi-sensei on several trips to study more of the Chinese martial arts that Goju Ryu was based on, including a trip to Itoman to visit Kinjo Matsu. Shinzato Jinan was often said to be Miyagi's most trusted and most senior student, and he was often called upon to represent Goju Ryu in Miyagi's stead. The most famous example of this involves the story of the naming of Goju Ryu itself. In 1930, Miyagi was invited by Kano-sensei to give a demonstration at Tokyo, but was unable to attend, and so he asked Shinzato to attend in his place. At the time, the Dai Nippon Butoku Kai was the authority in Japanese martial arts, and many Koryu, or old-style schools of fighting, ranging from sword techniques to spear techniques to even the art of swimming in armor, were registering with this organization to receive recognition by the increasingly militaristic Japanese government. Because of this, styles were registering under unique names. However, the Okinawan martial arts had no really similar tradition of naming styles, so when Shinzato-sensei was asked by mainland Japanese martial artists what the name of his style was, he did not have a sufficient answer. Some versions of this story claim that he improvised the name Hankoryu, meaning half-hard style, whereas others simply state that he was unable to give a satisfactory answer. However, if the stories are to be believed, Shinzato returned to Miyagi and passed along this anecdote, leading Miyagi to decide on the name of Goju Ryu for his style. A few years later, Miyagi would become the first karate master to register his style with the Butoku Kai. Whether or not Shinzato Jinan directly inspired the naming of Goju Ryu, he was clearly quite involved in the developing and spreading of the style. He accompanied Miyagi on several trips to promulgate and study the martial arts, and was also one of the few students that Miyagi permitted to open a dojo during his lifetime. Shinzato-sensei taught karate and judo at the prefectural commercial school. He was also a teacher to Higa Yuchoku, a master in shodin Ryu, whose family was close with the Miyagi family. In 1939, Shinzato-sensei was awarded the title of Renshi by the Dainippon Butoku Kai, a rank which, while generally considered to be junior to the Kyoshi titles of many other karate masters, was still a strong institutional recognition of his talent. Shinzato Jinan, like many Okinawan men, was called to serve the Japanese army in the final days of the Second World War. The entire island of Okinawa, which is the center of Okinawa Prefecture, was involved in the Battle of Okinawa, where the United States forces waged a bloody three-month invasion of the island, killing as many as one-third of the civilian population of the island by some estimates. The Japanese army made this battle a tactical decision to sacrifice basically an entire prefecture in order to dissuade the Americans from invading the main islands, by demonstrating that the cost of such an invasion in both money and human lives would be incredibly high. Their tactics in this battle included kamikaze-style suicide bombing, utilizing airplanes and the Kaiten manned torpedoes against American ships, as well as sending middle school children, some of whom aged as young as 14, 
to die during the land battle in self-explosion. Shinzato Jinan, at the age of 44, was killed in Qin Village by a bombing carried out by the United States forces. He was not the only one of Miyagi's close friends and loved ones to die in the fighting. Three of Miyagi's sons perished during the Battle of Okinawa, and one of his daughters had already been claimed by the war. These losses gutted Miyagi-sensei, who many of his students recall as never having been the same afterwards, although he bravely soldiered on and helped to rebuild his home from the devastation that had taken so much for him before his death. Was Shinzato Jinan intended to be Miyagi's successor? While many have speculated that this was the case, there's no indication that Miyagi had made such a decision. According to Miyazato Eiichi in his final interview, Shinzato Jinan was an incredibly talented and trusted student, but wasn't necessarily slated to be the successor. It's impossible to say whether he'd survived if he would have been the one true successor to Goji Ryu. While styles of fighting in Japan were commonly named after their originator, those in Okinawa were generally not referred to by anything other than their town of origin, and the Okinawans viewed successorship in a much different light than the Japanese. Miyagi Chojun may have been Higao Nakanryo's successor in the Naha lineage, but this was largely due to his seniority over the other students who trained with him at the time of his master's death. One of these, Higaseko, became Miyagi's student, whereas the other, Kyoda Juhatsu, went on to found his own style called Toon Ryu, an alternate pronunciation of the first two characters of Higama sensei's name. Though Shinzato Jinan clearly had seniority over many of Miyagi sensei's other students, Higaseko would have clearly been his senior, and Miyagi seemed less than concerned with appointing a single head to his style, or even differentiating his style too severely from others. Miyagi trained and researched alongside Shoren Ryu, Ryue Ryu, Shotokan, and Kingai Ryu masters, and focused not on solidifying his own personal legacy, but expanding Todi to Japan and to the rest of the world. I think that it was an intentional choice of his not to name a single successor to his style. After all, karate doesn't belong to just one man or one family or one lineage. Thank you for watching this episode of the History of Goju Ryu. If you liked it, please hit the like button, and while you're down there, leave a comment letting me know what topics you'd like me to cover next. If you haven't seen them already, Please check out the rest of the History of Goju Ryu series, and if you'd like to see more of them when they come out, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I upload new ones. I've been the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and make sure to keep an open mind even to other lineages.